Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, TSP, the spiritual philanthropist, and uh, this is the Daily Sutra. But today we're going to look at a story in Westchester where a social worker was nearly beaten to death after she just knocked on a man's door, a 31-year-old man's door. Uh, not sure what the entire story is, but hopefully the news here may have something more to say. But um, without further ado, guys, let's um, let's take a look at this and see what's really going on here. Okay. Westchester County social worker tonight fighting for her life after she was attacked on the job. CBS 2's Tony Aiello with the details from Peekskill in Westchester County. That is the Peekskill Police Department right over there. And this is where it happened. The criminal complaint details a horrific crime. 56-year-old Maria Cotto punched and repeatedly kicked by a man wearing heavy boots after the Westchester County social worker mistakenly knocked on his door while making a field visit. She came in looking for somebody to live on the third floor. This man She's spoke to me off worker, camera. He says that. the victim ran into his apartment as the attacker followed. What did he say as he was doing this? I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. And she f fell down flat on the floor, face down. The man says he grabbed the suspect by the neck, trying to stop the attack. 31-year-old Haseem Jenkins is charged with attempted murder and assault. He's being held without bail and had skipped several court appearances on an October disorderly conduct charge. The union representing social workers told me, we are devastated our member was assaulted while working in the community. A tragic reminder of the risks CSEA members face providing essential services. The union told me this is the worst attack on a member in recent memory, and it supports actions taken by Westchester County to better protect DSS staff, understandably rattled by the crime. County Executive Latimer approving an emergency contract to expand security escorts, and some caseworkers now going out in pairs to community and home visits. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. So uh, here we have, her name is Maria Cotto, 56-year-old woman, and she was viciously attacked just by knocking on the door. Um, they, you can see here it says, count one, the offense of attempted murder in the second degree. Count two, the offense of assault in the first degree. I mean, this, this person, whoever this person is, obviously had violent tendencies. Now, the reason I say this is important, remember uh, if you watch my previous videos where I talk about that, my uh, doctors here in Albany at um, uh, Albany Family Practice under community care f uh, physicians deemed me as being threatening to them. Well, all I did was they checked in my journal illegally. It's a, break, a breach of confidential, uh, confidentiality between me and my primary care doctor. And I had stated that my arm and my leg was broken, so I had a lot of animosity towards this man. But they tried to deem me as being somebody that could be potentially violent. Meanwhile, I'm a 54-year-old guy that had my neck broken, my arm, my leg, and everything. You know, a whole bunch of other stuff happened. And uh, that was an assault that happened to me. And uh, here you have a 31-year-old man. And I guarantee you, if you look down his past, he will have a past. Usually people that do things like this have a history of doing things like this. My history, on the other hand, and I'm making this personal because it is personal. I, I worked as a counselor, an addiction counselor, uh, for a couple of years in New York City uh, at 57th Street at ACI. And uh, in another facility also in Flatbush and, and a residential facility for... Um, for the United States military combat veterans, which I specialize in. But what I want to say here is that to take the opportunity that it's really important that here's a woman who works as a social worker that kind of sometimes deals with this kind of hostility in her job. But here she is knocking on the wrong door by accident. And that person that's behind the door is a 31 year old man that nobody has an idea will be this violent. Why? Because I guarantee you they have a way of stigmatizing people in the wrong ways. Their system of, of uh, I guess, assessing who's violent and who's not has been completely uh, 
atrocious in many ways causing incidents like this this man should have had some you know in reality should have had help should have had some kind of uh, intervention in his life at already that age and he's that angry I could tell you in my life I grew up in foster homes the things that have happened to me at a much younger age than 54 I should have been violent much more violent you know if you were to look at it and take it for what it was from the things that I experienced but you know I always looked to uh, find help for myself and I think that's another aspect of not everybody's capable of doing that or even wanting they don't have the desire to do that because they don't believe anything's wrong with them But the thing I'm trying to say is I also have an extensive education. I'm working on a fourth degree if God wills it and I'm healthy enough. I'll finish my fourth degree in physics. I have two previous other degrees, three uh, previous other degrees, one in English and two in uh, chemical substance abuse. So, you know, I, I am the type of person that likes to learn. And I think that a lot of the times not everyone will have that ability or that desire there's a lot of people that get comfortable and truly comfortable because the system allows them to get comfortable. You know, the system, how it's set up, is almost uh, a revolving door. Because I remember when I was working as a, an addiction counselor, these people just, we, all we had to do is have them fill out the insurance papers and as, they'll go through one door and they go into another facility. That's what we were filling out papers for, were for them to go to the next facility. So that's why I call it a revolving door. It's a system of making money. It doesn't really deal with these people and help them and really, you know, really give them the help that they actually need. So that's why I bring this up. Now, dealing back with the violence towards this woman, I worked, like I said, as an addiction counselor. I know the dangers involved with I've seen so many things inside there and i know this woman god bless her soul maria koto at 56 years old had to endure such a violent um aggressive behavior from this man that maybe almost took her life and thank god that it didn't guys the the, the bottom line here is that for me personally and i don't know for the rest of you how you're going to feel is that not everybody that that uh checks themselves in for help is violent those people are the ones who are already seeking help knowing something is wrong they shouldn't be disregarded or displaced in in the way of that oh they're here and they need help they maybe they're potentially a certain way those people that don't check in that don't bring themselves there that don't get any help are the ones that nobody knows about and these are the ones that like maria koto knocked on that person's door i bet you on a percentage statistically uh, uh that if they check to see how many people committed violent crimes that should have gotten help and check their history of violent uh tendencies they would see that there's probably a hell of a lot more people out there that have this history that never get any help and the reason i'm saying this like i said it's personal to me because i've been violently attacked in new york city i was violently attacked by a co-worker and you, know, you don't break someone's arm and their legs slowly twisted my leg to break it and this guy is out there somewhere as an actor and a writer and a teacher he's out there doing things and but the people at this hospital that i was that i was at looked at me as as a violent person for saying that i hope god brings him to hell and gives him the same amount of pain that i felt that's all i said i know everybody's saying if you're a christian or whatever religion that you're supposed to have forgive ask forgiveness i'm not ready yet i went i'm going through what you call ptsd like other normal human beings go through i'm not saying that it's right to do so but I, i'm going through my things but at least i'm seeking help but that's the difference you know like i said if the system was set up better they would know that the people who seek help really are doing the right thing and the people who deny them that help and even thwart their attempt to get help maybe they should be hospitalized because they're doing a disservice to humanity when they do things like that like what what happened to me at community care physicians guys so i'm going to keep bringing that up until it gets into people's heads that the way we treat each other the golden rule is extremely important christ at least had that right but where did he get that from he said from his father that's the one the same one that he prays to is the same one i pray to that father in heaven you know so you can take that however you want it but i'm just saying that we need to start treating each other much better the world is becoming a very harsh world out there and if we don't find forgiveness and we keep hanging on to violence violence will only beget violence i'm going to leave you guys with that and i hope that you guys stay safe open your minds open your hearts and treat others around you with some love and kindness and compassion really try you know the world really needs that right now more than anything else we need that 
compassion, love, and forgiveness. All right, guys, have a great uh, rest of your weekend. I'll probably do another video soon. Please hit that like and subscribe button. That helps me because I have no other work. And, uh, you know, it helped me to at least pay my bills. So I'm very grateful for all of you who are here and that have hit that like and subscribe button and commented. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. I may be doing some other videos in the future on some other weird topics, not just the news, because I like looking at everything on spirituality, aliens, this, that, anything that, you know, that kind of uh, gets me interested. I'm going to uh, do a video on it. So I hope you guys like that as well. And if you don't, just hit, just hit me with a comment and look at my next video. There's got to be something in there you'll like. <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. Be safe.